the wolf pack calling into a public access television show. I think we got a call coming through. Um, caller, make your question, your comment, or your statement brief and to the point. Go right ahead, caller. Oh, yeah. I was calling with uh, regards to some of the gang activity. Uh-huh. Uh, there's some new gangs cropping up, like the uh, Left by Kid Chris. Okay, I think I kind of heard something about that. Okay, what's, what's your point yeah, about, yeah. The, about the activity? Um, well, my point is he's, he's been running around uh, poking his schween and everybody looking at his pee-pee. Okay, all right. Okay, thank you for that, bro. I appreciate that. Um, a lot of you cats, you know, I'm, you know, we we have a program here that you know we are trying to give out information to help us to see better how to improve our community. Now you got some enemies that may call it because you know they don't really want us to improve oh, yeah. and oh, they yeah. want us to be out here just fighting each other. And that was the fool that just called in. Mm-hmm. But that that's all right. Though. We got we have more callers. Go ahead, caller. Go right ahead. Hi, I was wondering um, when you two were going to kiss each other. Okay, we we guess we we get some marks calling in today, family. You know, but that, that that's okay though. Remember now, I mean, some serious marks. Oh, and, and you no. can't see brothers on TV. <laughs> you 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 silly Caucasian. You see brothers on TV. No, no, right you, around. I mean, at the same time, they probably live right around it. And, and that's what I mean. But and I, I I pray that a lot of brothers are listening and looking at this, and then they need to c- come p- um, pump it up some. Got a caller? Go right ahead, caller. Okay. Um, what I wanted to say was. I would think it would be cool if you would jerk. Okay. They'd do it behind the phone, but they won't come in your face and yeah. say stuff like that. You know, they natural sissies. Man. The natural sissies. Natural sissies. What's up? Phone number is 404-741-9696. Long, big day today. Dice Man is coming by to see us, He's going to wear you out. Oh, yeah. This is going to be a... Uh, this is going to be a tornado through here today. Dice Man's a friend of the show. Uh, he'll be stopping by. And then also, uh, GNR GPS today, uh, our buddy Matt from Promotions is going to go out. He's going to just uh, park somewhere, and then he's going to uh, text us his coordinates. We'll put them up on uh, Twitter and on Facebook, like a little map. And uh, first person to go out and see him gets Guns N' Roses tickets for Thursday. That's going to be cool. I wonder where he's going to go. Maybe we should send him out like uh, to Alabama or something. You know, <laughs> All the way th- somewhere there. extreme. <laughs> I think uh, we're going out during Williams' show today, too. That's OC's right. show. So um, this is pretty good. You know, they didn't give us much time to play with as far as for Guns N' Roses. Uh, yeah. The show is on Thursday. He dropped it on us. Um, and then uh, this weekend, we had a, uh, a fun time out at uh, Supercross. That was cool. Yeah, meeting everybody, uh, meeting the Project family. That place was packed. It was insane walking out there on the... Uh, in the middle of the dome, right? I was just and thinking all those that people, like it's being on the floor, and you look up, it's just it's packed and it's huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and then uh, you know you can't like look up because you know I was holding the guitar that was autographed that we were giving away, and I you know you look up and then seventy people make eye connection with you and they try to get your attention. They say, "Hey man, let me have that guitar," you know, <laughs> stuff like that. It's like ah, so you just look down at the dirt. <laughs> um, yeah, that that was a good time. I get it. It's just amazing how many people come out to that thing. Yeah, it was massive. That's nuts. And when we were doing the uh, when we were broadcasting at the the pit party, yeah, like just seeing people file in. Yeah, and there oh. were some babes there too. Yeah. Sorry, whites out of town. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was a good time. And and but it was something where it was like, okay, I just killed my front my Saturday. Right now, like yesterday, would scurrying around to get anything done. I didn't get to do laundry. See, you, you all right? Well. You know, when you have a wife, she does that stuff. Oh, that's what they do. They cook and they clean. Tell her to come back. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll deal with the piles okay? of laundry. Yeah. Um, and, you know, and I didn't get a chance. Did you watch all the uh, Celebrity uh, Apprentice last night? I saw most of it. Well, I woke up to who a got text. Bo- uh, who got I, booted? Was, I, uh, I don't even Gotti. know. Gotti got booted. Oh, okay. So. I don't, why does it show up to be two hours? It's too uh, late. <laughs> you know, it's like that whole boardroom scene takes like an hour yeah, for yeah, to get bu- I get it. You build it up and all that, but it doesn't need to be two hours. Nah. I mean, some of us have to go to sleep. I, I woke I, up I woke up on my couch to a text that says, uh, that chick is hot. Uh, that, Teresa? Oh, Teresa uh, Gudice, whatever yeah. her name is. From, uh, yeah, yeah. That, no, that's from me. dude. I feel like she's she's gonna collect toll from me. Yeah, I like she that. She has a, like a, a a dude face, a brow. I don't think so. No way. She's uh she looks good in a bikini too. And for a, for a mom, the chick from the Jersey Housewives that's on the Celebrity Apprentice. You know, yeah, and I, like and her. I enjoy and watching I like the that attitude too because we we 
we know a lot of the people that were that yeah. are on that. Yeah. And then you could text me with that awful. I'm like, yeah. I get mad. Yeah, because you know your standards are real high. <laughs> no, no, that's not you're, even you're what like, I'm saying. Oh man, I only be with models. Me, no, Thomas. That's not what I. You know, that's not what. No, it that's is. fine. That's fine. How that works. If we took a poll inside the station, they no. Because you know what they would say. <laughs> that's so dumb. Whenever yeah, you want to use them when it's on your side, <laughs> Mr. Standards. No, oh, stop I it. only date models. That's not even it. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> That's okay. Thomas is all fired up today because it's not even a half day for him today. Oh, he's, stop. He's got to go to court. <laughs> yeah, I can only do it on a Monday during the show. It's true. You know yep. I tried to get out of they, it. They closed. They closed the uh, the judge doors nah, they won't uh, let right you at 9 o'clock, yeah, so right. I, can't, I, I can't switch. Ask Dubs. I, I talked to Dubs And I know it's going to happen. Dubs, you know it's going to happen. He's going to go there and go, I didn't even get in there. I have to take Wednesday off now. No, that's yeah. not what I'm going to do. We'll see. We'll see. Thomas is leaving. Of course, he's going to be like, yeah, yeah, I'll go. I got to go. What time? Well, I was thinking I was going to leave at 7. Yeah, but Dice is coming right. Oh, yeah, I'll leave after Dice. <laughs> 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 yeah, the judge said it was cool. I could come after I dice. I called him. I was like, you know that dude, Fort Fairley dude? Yeah. And then he won't get charged. He, he's not getting charged a day off. So this is great. If I was five minutes late, I'd be charged for a day off. Oh, stop. You know it's true. Everything sucks. You're so mad. <laughs> you just miss your wife. It's all right. No, I don't. Uh, it was great news yesterday when my wife told me that she may be staying a week or so longer in uh, Texas where she is. See, you say Three that weeks. now, but I know it's going to happen. No, because I like resting. I de- have been sleeping too much. Uh, like last night, I came home and I fell asleep watching this, this, this Celebrity Apprentice. I mean, granted, that was late, but... Uh, yeah, I just go home. I, I get rest. Did you? Uh, I thought you might have put on the uh, the uh, Oscars to, to no, to no, no, no. I, I didn't watch any of that. I don't know anything. That I don't know anybody that watched it. I didn't hear see any updates about it or anything. And, and I saw the Ryan Seacrest video where uh, 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 Sasha Baron Cohen yeah. dumped ashes on him, but fixed. That was staged. And then um, you have uh, that whole thing. I'm not. I have no interest in seeing do Borat again. Right. You know, what about the other guy? Who the, the gay guy one was stupid. It was kind of over the top, but it was kind of funny. But uh, this one's going to be dopey, I don't think. Uh, I think Borat's where he kind of hit it. That was it. That but Borat was incredible. Do you think he could do it again, though? Because like, it was everyone knows who everybody he knows is. Everybody knows it's yeah. a goof. And plus, in this, he's so he, it doesn't look real. It looks yeah. like a guy, you know, where Borat was real looking. Uh, you know, Ollie G was great. But <laughs> uh, I think, yeah, that, that's it. I mean, I don't know. Enough with this. Let's move on to real acting. He's supposed now. to be doing. Uh, is he supposed to be Freddie Mercury in the Queen movie? Yeah, he'll look. He'll be great in that. I think but I've seen pictures where he looks like just like him. He he's looks just like him, mustache. anyways. Yeah, uh, yeah. He's got that that <laughs> Schween duster. <laughs> and maybe we should move along. <laughs> The wolf pack attacks the media. There's been speculation, of course, that it could be a natural gas explosion. And we do have a city worker on the line. Jim Avila joins us now live. Jim, are you there? Yes, I am. Thanks for joining us today. Tell me, what can you tell us at this time? It's a real big mess down here. And if, if you look on the, I don't know if where your cameras and stuff are, but like on the southeast corner, I guess they're getting concerned that the uh, wall is getting the fall. And um, they're starting to wonder if uh, maybe Kate Chris had anything to do with this. <laughs> okay, apparently uh, someone who may not be too interested in helping us out. The Kate <laughs> Chris Show. Mornings on Project 961. Do it, do it. I have, uh, so what, a, what a week. Dice show tonight. Andrew Dice Clay coming by later this morning about uh, 7.50. Tomorrow we'll be seeing that Project X, right? Is that yep. tomorrow? Thursday is Guns N' Roses. I want you to go to Guns N' Roses. So today, our uh, buddy Matt from uh, from Promotion is going to go out. He's going to be in an undisclosed location. He's going to take a snapshot of his GPS location, and we're going to put it up on Twitter and Facebook. And uh, first person to go out there and find him. Gets to the Guns N' Roses tickets for Thursday that's night cool. at the Tabernacle. That's a uh, that's going to be great. And then uh, later on this afternoon, around four o'clock or so, uh, I think uh, four or five, we're going to be out, Thomas, during the OC show, right? Driving and, uh, around. Yeah, we'll be doing it. Uh, so that's going to be a good time. That's uh, later on this morning. So uh, I think he'll be in position about seven thirty. Is that safe? Uh, seven thirty. So uh, GNR GPS until Thursday. Man, we just got listen to the seats. To go see it, because this was a show that they just, boom, hit you with. Reserve seatings for Guns N' Roses are 125 bucks. General admission are 79 50 I know. I know. 
Like but, if the Beatles came back, I may pay. I mean, all of them <laughs> from yeah, the dead. GNR mm-hmm. is, I think, are the Beatles for some people, right? I, but uh, I don't know, man. One hundred and twenty-five bucks to see uh, just Axel. Right. It's not even all the the original. No, not even close. It's only Axel. Everybody else, it's Axel's band. You know, um, and but who knows why they're doing this? Uh, you know, they're doing these small little club things. Uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame's coming up, and who knows? Maybe, uh, you know, because we've talked to Slash. Slash is laid back. I mean, nobody's going to yeah. punch anybody. So when it comes to business, if you're charging 125 bucks a seat, um, imagine if they got back together the entire lineup of Guns N' Roses. That they would be very rich. Then you could charge something like that. Oh right? my God! Imagine 125 dollars a seat in the Georgia Dome. Think about the dough they could pull in, dude. That's massive, and, yeah. and that's general. That could be general admission, and on the floor, like going up towards, towards the stage, two hundred bucks, three hundred. Do you think they could fill up? They could play. Oh my god, the Georgia Dome! You think they could fill the Georgia Dome? I, I oh man, that would be crazy. insane. Now I, you know what, what is that? What's that old seventy five or something like that? Seventy two. Seventy two. It was sold well, out. I mean, that, but that was uh, seventy two sold out for the Supercross. Right. The whole floor was dirt. That's right. So if you put the stage and then you have half the floor, oh you my could, god, that'd be nuts. Think about that dough. That's one show. I mean, do you think the beat offs could ask for something like that? Maybe. <laughs> be curtain off half of it. <laughs> You know, I, I think uh, the way they should do it, if I was them, uh, their manager, I'd be like, look, let's get the guys back together, do the Super Bowl next year, and that's when you launch it. Oh, at the Super Bowl? G- Guns N' Roses <laughs> plays the, the Super show? Bowl, and then uh, Boom, then you announce tour. your tour. Yeah. yeah, right after the performance is over, the first commercial is the world That'd tour commercial. Huge. That would be massive. But, you know... Egos. See, the problem is, is they have money. Right. Axel's got dough, so he's just going to keep going with this fight that he has. Some phantom fight, which if you ask him, they probably don't even know what they're fighting about at this point. You know how, like, when you fight with your girlfriend and she's like, you know, after like the weekend, you're like thinking, why are we? I forgot what well, we're even fighting on? about. Yeah. It's because you know I was o- o- peeling an orange and some squirted on her, and she got pissed off. I imagine. <laughs> I mean, couldn't you overlook a lot of things if you were going to make that kind of for money? Yes. Yeah. You think I look looking across a board from you? No, right. I got to work. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I mean, if, and if you were getting paid really good, you'd be probably like, come sit you. right next to me. <laughs> F everybody. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know. It's interesting to see. So uh, it, it, you know, Guns N' Roses reserve tickets for uh, <laughs> for general mission. Uh, well, for reserve tickets are 125 bucks. I would imagine those are right by the stage. But that's Thursday at the Tabernacle. It's a great place to see a show. Um, and when is this? Will be the last time you can see Guns N' Roses in that kind of situation. So it's going to be worth it. And um, Man, I could tell you what if I if I brought a date, say I was dating a chick and I brought it to that show, I her hand better be in my pants when I'm leaving wow. that arena, right? Yeah, you're right. 125 bucks. Yeah, I mean, and plus if you buy her dinner too prior to. Oh my god, yeah. If you go across the street to Ted's, right? All right, and uh, what is that? 300 bucks for these tickets. <laughs> plus, say so you spent 100 on dinner. Yeah, and then you get her drinks at the show. But what? Yeah, what are those? Eight bucks, yeah. something like that. <laughs> Four dollars. Uh-huh. Man. Yeah, yeah. You better hope that there's. You better a, have <laughs> your hand in her. Pants. Yeah, yeah. You're right. You know what? Yeah, she's driving. Yeah, <laughs> she's driving, and I'm gonna be. Uh, I'll be sitting on her lap while she drives. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Andrew Dice Clay stopping by a little while, and also, uh, you know, our buddy Blake from Sales. He's got some more of these uh, Craigslist ads. He finds these uh, cool ads up on Craigslist um, that are uh, funny things. People, guys looking for like gay guys looking for certain things. Always good. Yeah, and it's a really creepy stuff, but he finds them. And then also, speaking of, our uh, buddies, the Wolf Pack, put up their gay ads on uh, Craigslist, and uh, we'll get the tally of who see who got the most uh, the most uh, Schween picks. We'll get the tally at uh, 835 this morning. Oh, yeah, it's time for our favorite segment of the show. What's, What's up? up? Hello? What's up? Hey, don't you don't have to holler. You're lesbian? You went to New York, you got married? Your name is Phyllis. What's, What's up? up? What do you mean, what's up? So, what's up? You're female. You married a female. You like females. What's up? What's up? What's up? Okay, goodbye. <laughs> what? <laughs> what's up? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> that was America's favorite interview segment. What's, what's up? up? You know what? The funny thing is, is we try to, with those bits. The fun part is to get them off the phone. And then during a real interview, like on uh, Friday when we talked to Soleil Moon Fry, <laughs> yeah. 
She hung up on us. So <laughs> no matter what, it's always somebody just bailing out. <laughs> Rah! Our phone number is 404-741-9696. I do have, um, you know, for uh, 8.35 this morning when we tally up for the uh, Wolf Pack, the guys that call radio shows and uh, disturb them and piss them all off. They're uh, tallying up all their Schween pictures from our contest we have going on. They put up uh, their own gay ads up on Craigslist. And um, for, it's a contest to see who gets the most Schween. And then we had three contestants pick uh, the, who, who they think is going to get the most. And whoever wins gets uh, wrestling tickets. Those guys have uh, been hard at work calling radio shows. Uh-oh. I have the, the latest from the Wolf Pack. <laughs> Always good. Yeah. When they hit these radio shows, man, they go south. Maybe the tie-in with religion. Any questions? This is what he's uh, been researching. Scott Allen Roberts, new evidence of a hybrid race <laughs> that walked among us. 866-4E. Han- this guy's name is Alan Handelman. one Let's uh, go to Chris in Raleigh. Hi, Chris. I heard Scott talking about missing books in the Bible Mm-hmm. And there was a book in the Bible that I learned about when I was in Catholic high school, the book of Derek, where Jesus would talk about sending Instagrams of him bigfooting with Kid Chris at Project 961. <laughs> oh, there you go. There you go. I knew I knew it was going to be a crack here. I could, I could tell it was leading up to that. Nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, I think that book is true. I think you should, <laughs> as a matter of fact, go sell all your belongings and follow. Ooh, okay, let's uh, go to the calls here. Fascinating. Let's go to... <laughs> ooh, ooh. He goes, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Follow. Ooh, okay, let's uh, go to the calls here. Ooh. Fascinating. Let's go to Hank on line five. Stand by Zach, uh, Rachel, and Ray. Uh, hi, Hank. I was going to ask Scott Allen if there's any proof throughout the Bible that uh, Nelephine would ever dock with Kid Chris. Uh, because I believe that... <laughs> there we go. Uh, yeah, he got it. What can I say? All right. <laughs> Docking. Oh, that's funny. It makes you wonder, uh, like, well, how do he know it? Yeah, what does he know? Is? Exactly. Yeah. How do you know? Uh, here's some more uh, from the Wolfpack calling the Scoot Show. Yeah. Hey, uh, man. I don't see anybody driving around going, dude, did you, did you hear Scoot? Dude. <laughs> did you hear what Scoot did on the show? I heard his listeners called the, the Scooters. Yeah, the Scooters. <laughs> Let's take the call for all the Scooters. <laughs> Scooter Nation. Uh, in Kansas, Hank, welcome to the Scoot Show. Welcome. <laughs> Hi, Scoot. How are you, man? Hey, Scoot. Dude, Scoot sounds like something you do, like like yeah, on no, the internet yeah, porn. Yeah, no, Scoot is when I hear a guy named Scoot on the radio. I scoot to the next station. Oh. <laughs> Boo. Uh, in Kansas, Hank, welcome to the Scoot Show. Welcome. Hi, Scoot. How, how are you, man? It's a Good. great show as always. Thanks. I wanted to talk about this curfew, the eight o'clock curfew. Yeah. Uh, I think it's a, uh, it's a good idea. Perhaps I'm getting too old because you wouldn't want sweet heat rolling the uh, streets of uh, the French Quarter because nothing good happens after, as my dad used to say, after midnight, but of course this is just a little bit earlier. <laughs> and you know all those little idiots. <laughs> you should have the plan for them. <laughs> I love you, Scoot. All right, Hank, I'm uh, glad you called the show. <laughs> that was nice. Dude, how many jokes were in there? Show jokes. You got Alfie Sweet Heat jokes. The evolution. Evo- evolution has a plan for I them. Know, it seemed like a lot because he was just rambling on. Yeah. Scoot. <laughs> oh, I'm not exactly sure what... Uh, what you- These are uh, the Wolfpack uh, called radio shows. You said there, but it sounded like you had a lot of passion for it. Uh, in New Orleans, Bill, welcome to WWL. Good evening. How are you, Scoot? Good. Hey, you know, it gets even crazier Scoot. when the show gets uh, closer to midnight. Yeah, maybe there should be a curfew for the, for callers to the show. <laughs> yeah, really. There, nobody should be... Li- especially anybody under 16 should not be listening to this show. Yeah. But it, there definitely should be a curfew because un- unsupervised children at night leads to trouble. One night, I saw a kid, Chris. He dropped his pants and picked up a beer bottle with his backside. And then he ran around calling himself... All right, Bill. All right, all right, all right, Bill, Bill, Bill. All right. That's, you know, that's, you know, that's enough. I mean, uh, again, you know, I guess it's uh, Mardi Gras time, even though it's uh, Wednesday night. The weekend isn't even here yet. And uh, some of the crazies are already out. Scoot! All right, let's go to uh, Bucktown. TJ, you're now on WWL. Good evening. I could really understand how Whitney Houston got addicted to pills because I had shoulder surgery and those Percocets were amazing. <laughs> they were the only thing that took away the pain from the head injury I got when I gave road treats to Kid Chris. He kept punching me. <laughs> you know, 
There are just some uh, strange people. I, I, maybe it's the, it's the weather. I don't know. But yeah. there's some interesting people that are uh, making rather nonsensical comments on our show. But you know what? you got to love it. Yeah, Scoot loves it. Yeah, what do you expect? you got to call the Scoot the Show, Scoot right? Show. I want to hear real scooters call in. Oh, man. So there you go. There's uh, the latest from the Wolfpack at 835. We'll tally up uh, to see who got the most Schween picks out of uh, Zimmerman. Sam FM and Jimmy Jitsu. And then also, uh, at about 7.30, we will release the coordinates for uh, Guns N' Roses tickets. Matt from Promotions is going out. He's going to screen the shot his uh, coordinates where he's sitting, waiting for you to come find him. And if you find him, you get the tickets. For Guns N' Roses Thursday. What's up? Larry, did you go to Supercross? Nah, hey, I'm bright right now. Dude, you know we got uh, Guns N' Roses going to be here Thursday night. How fat is that? How fat is hell? Yeah, I know. They're going to be at, uh, uh, what is that? Oh, the Tabernacle. How cool is that? Dude, Tabernacle. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah we're sending out, uh, we got our buddy Matt from Promotions. He's going out. He's going to... Uh, He's gonna doing a GNR GPS. He's gonna uh, take a snapshot of where he is on a map, and then uh, first people to go out and find him are gonna get the Guns N' Roses tickets. Is that cool? That's cool as hell. Yeah, we're cool as hell. <laughs> yeah. Oh, are cool. Hey, who's who's your buddy? That's Josh. That's Josh right here. Josh, yeah. What are you guys doing? You guys in a truck? What is this party yeah, line? Truck man, just chilling. Yeah, you guys road skiing. You know what that is? No, how was that, man? Road skiing. You get three guys in a truck. The guy in the middle is, uh, you know, using his hand on the other two dudes like he's skiing. You know. <laughs> no, we're not gay. We're just blowing up one. You're just what? Blowing up one. Blowing up one. Oh, blowing, blowing up, up blunt. Oh, yeah. So doing marijuana. Yeah. <laughs> now, after, did you ever get so high that you want to do road skiing with a, with a friend? That's not on my level. I'm just, no. Nah. What? So, so what do you guys got going on for a career? Uh, I mean, we're just young. Okay. All right, that's good. How does that? <laughs> how how well's that pay? How do you apply for that? Uh, we're just chilling right now. So, who pays for your weed? I do. With what? How do you get dough? I don't know how we get it. We sell it. No, we do not. <laughs> we do not. No, we do not. Oh, yeah, man. Chris, it's, it's, how, how'd you get these geniuses to call in? <laughs> <laughs> they thought it was G E D for G N R. Oh, that's what it was. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I love when the stoners call in. <laughs> it's too easy, right? Yeah, it's way too easy. <laughs> Do you think there'll be stoners at Guns N' Roses at the Tabernacle? Uh, probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah, old school stoners. You know, uh, we'll check in with Promotions Matt. He's going to send us a text from uh, from his phone, his GPS location for uh, Guns N' Roses, GPS, GNR. And uh, all you got to do, first one is to go out there and find them. According to the map, you get the treasure, the treasure being Guns N' Roses tickets. Uh, hey, listen, uh, one of the funniest new shows that are on right now uh, on Comedy Central is a, uh, uh, these guys are on it, uh, Key and Peel. Hey, yeah, we're here. Yo, what up, man? Fellas? Hey, what up? Yo, dude, I, I look, I look, first of all, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't like anything new, okay? We'll just put it out there like that. All uh, right. But uh, I, I saw um, the preview for the, these guys' show. Um, I, I was at the movie theater. I went and saw, uh, it was uh, The Grey. They showed it during previews of The Grey. And oh, it was right, right, right. Yeah, it was hilarious. And then Thomas, you were over the night yeah. it, it premiered. We were watching it, and dude, I gotta tell you, well, there's the there's skit, a couple skits that the, are really the, good. The opening skit with the two uh, the two black guys, and they are next to each other on the cell phone. Yeah, money. Okay, yeah, and then the bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That was funny. Were they scared to talk about their ladies the in bitches, front of them? Yeah. yeah, and that's the truth because I'm a married guy, and I'm all like, yeah, screw that bitch. And then she calls the show, and I'm like, hey, baby. <laughs> right. You don't exactly. say that to her face. Yeah. You never say that to her face. Yeah, never. Yeah. That's the rule. You can't say it to her face. And my, Jordan knows. I, I do it at work all the time. I'm just like... 
Then this bitch gonna tell me, which I would never do to her face. Ever. Never. That's what, years. that's what work is for. I don't know about. So you're a married guy, right? I'm married. I've been married 13 years. Yeah, Whoa. Yeah, 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 yeah. Damn. Do you got yeah, kids? Yeah, yeah. You got kids? Uh, I have one kid, but he's my stepkid. My stepkid. He's a grown man. It's oh. No, no maintenance. It's awesome. Yeah. I stay at work till four o'clock in the afternoon every day, just so it's less time to be at home with an angry wife and chaos. <laughs> right. No, I know what you said. I always find something to do at the office, and yep. I and I don't. Even, our kid's not even in the house. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys run into with your ladies? Do you guys run into a uh, a thing where when you make a skit like the bitch, where they go, <laughs> you know, I, I don't think that was funny. I, I did say to my wife one time. I said, you know, you don't have to think it's funny, but I think you know what else is not funny? Living on the street. <laughs> 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 Did yeah. you really so, of course, you gentlemen can... know I've never said anything like that to my wife. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> when do all the uh, debut episodes air? 10.30. It's 10.30, 9.30 Central on Comedy Central. 10.30 yeah. p.m., 9.30 Central, yeah. yeah. Right yeah. after Tosh, we know. Right after Tosh. On Tuesdays, right, guys? Tuesdays, yeah, every that's right. Tuesday. Th that's not a bad slot, and also it's good to see that they're back doing, uh, like I said, this kind of stuff, because uh, that Chappelle guy kind of blew it up in their face and ruined it for everybody for a second. Uh, yeah, well, I know, <laughs> because he, I mean, he moved to Africa, and then he screwed up our $50 million. Exactly. That's, that, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It's like, do that again, yeah, right? they, 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 these guys had to wait until they paid him off just so they could get back get to work. <laughs> I tell you, right. where, did, where were you guys before this? Well, we were on Mad uh, TV. Okay. Yeah, right. we were, we've had a couple of years off, so we've done uh, a couple bit parts in movies and stuff. Very yeah, we did, uh, you know, guest stars in movies and uh, Reno 911 okay. and um, a new movie with uh, Jennifer Aniston and yeah. Paul Rudd. Yeah, you saw Jordan on the preview. He's that black dude with that huge bong. They hadn't even yelled action yet. It was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> See, dude, this is great, and, yeah. and I'm jaded, so I don't really enjoy much of the, outside of professional wrestling. I don't like anything, so uh, this is uh, this is up there. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you, man. That's great. Yeah, that is high praise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, good luck, good luck, you guys. We will definitely be watching. This has my stamp of approval. Oh, thank All you, right, man. man. We appreciate it. That's awesome, kid. Uh, Thanks. All right, dude. Take care, guys. Take care. Right, Have a good morning. Right, you too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Guns N' Roses playing the Tabernacle on Thursday. We will have your tickets in a few minutes. I'm going to be posting up online on Facebook and Twitter uh, the GPS coordinates to where our buddy Matt is from promotions, and he will have tickets. First one to go see him will get tickets. So keep an eye out for those coordinates coming up. Also, Andrew Dice Clay coming up at 7.50. Right now, our buddy Blake is on the phone. Hello. Kid Chris, but Blake, uh, I'm very, I'm looking forward to this today. I'm sure you got some gold for us. You always bring the heat. He finds all these odd Craigslist ads. You know, guys uh, trying to get sex, people trying to sell weird things. It's always good stuff. <laughs> this uh, today, uh, there's a little uh, theme. This guy, he he posts the title "Nervous but Hopeful." It says, uh, "I'm 53, straight, clean, professional, and turning the page in my life's book." I'm looking for someone like-minded to play discreet puppy fudge games. What? <laughs> <laughs> what are, I don't know. I don't want to know. I just think it's funny. Discreet puppy fudge. <laughs> puppy puppy fudge games with uh, <laughs> yeah, with uh, with J O and showering. And it says uh, it says. I know I am not a de degenerate. This dog is a family pet, and you should be able to understand what I'm talking about. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. They're doing oh. stuff with the dog? Yeah. Oh, that's oh. wrong. Uh, and he's looking for uh, a trim guy with a full head of hair who can lift 50 pounds with ease. <laughs> 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 and it says, please understand that there will be no gay stuff. <laughs> it, it all sounds gay. I know. Well, and and then it has a, a picture of the guy and a picture of a dog doing its business. <laughs> what? Yeah. I don't, under, I don't understand what they want. What he wants? He wants to play games with puppy fudge. Like throw it at each other? Uh, whatever games. Do we have to bring a slingshot? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't specify, but I'll give I'll give you his info. <laughs> That's wrong. Uh, yeah, I'm confused. Blake finds these uh, ads on Craigslist that are pretty interesting. This one says, uh, charge up and J-O. 
The crystal I wear around my neck contains an essence that gets recharged when I J.O. with a bro who also has a crystal. It gives me confidence at work, home, social situation. No one knows it's a J.O. crystal but me and my bros. (laughs) (laughs) I have seen it glow white with a bud. That's how I know it's real. You can come over uh, for as long as you want, but I need a picture of you, preferably wearing a crystal before I waste my time. (laughs) (laughs) A J.O. crystal? Uh, What are you giving these at? I don't know. (laughs) Okay, this guy. (laughs) (laughs) You probably get it at one of those little kiosks in the middle of the year. Yeah, right. (laughs) J.O. with kiss. Straight males, no gay stuff. Sitting in my living room, listen to Kiss's greatest hits. Every now and then you ask me if we can change the music, but I say no. I'm I'm super hairy and wearing a leather tunic, and I have rocker hair, and I want to do it up big. (laughs) My stereo is a 5.1 system on which you will hear the most amazing Kiss tracks of your life while we we do our thing. (laughs) So... He wants a buddy to come over and... And, and they just listen to uh, Call Me Dr. Love and pleasure himself. Yeah. How is that, like, just a straight male thing only? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's just, I, I'm, like, hacking up because people well, are twisted. I and mean, Blake <laughs> finds them all on Craigslist. Blake, what happened last time you went over to listen ki- to Kiss? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was good, man. Love gun. <laughs> <laughs> How about a little suit play and bondage? <laughs> men for men, 28 years old. Uh, and it's a guy um, all tied up, but he's wearing a Spider-Man costume. <laughs> <laughs> of course he is. <laughs> and it says, does this turn you on? Good. Let, let's get together and play suits. I'll be totally blind with my face hidden, and you can touch me all over while I'm tied up. Maybe I won't even know who you are. We'll be, we'll be in my garage at first. Maybe some random encounters around the neighborhood later if I if I come to trust you. And no gay stuff, please. Oh. Open minded, under fifty, and fit. Here it is again. No gay stuff. Yeah, but it, it, all of it is. Yeah. I'm telling you, if me, if it's me, homoerotic. If we were in the studio yeah. and we were just doing it to ourselves, yeah, like that. Like if and they somebody walked, walked in, in they'd be like, "You guys are being gay." Yeah, right. The gay cops would come. <laughs> well, you know, they, they don't want to come off uh, as they're, you know, yeah. being gay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's weird. <clears throat> that's a whole other world. I wonder what that's called. Are you sure you don't know? I don't remember what we call it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you love to play Super Mario Brothers on the classic Nintendo system? Do you like getting tagged from behind while you do it? Well, this post is for you. <laughs> you. You must know your way around the game before we meet. I will send you the address and the hotel room number. When you arrive, the door will be open. Please come in and lock the door behind you. I will be in the bathroom with the door closed. Turn on the TV and the N- Nintendo. Remove all your clothing. Turn off the lights uh, in the room and kneel down on the bed so you are directly in front of the TV. You need to be facing the TV. Press the start button and blah, 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 you know, and go on. Wow. And it says, when you reach the end of level one, make sure <laughs> make sure to trigger uh, the fireworks. This is vital to the entire experience. You know, the fireworks yeah, at the end of yeah. level two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when level two begins uh, and Mario walks through the pipe, I will penetrate you. <laughs> you know what though? What the hell? Doesn't that seem kind of hot that if you can put an ad up there and a it's chick sexy. would show up? Like yeah, imagine you're sitting in the bathroom and then all of a sudden you hear your game start yeah, playing. Oh yeah. I mean, that right there is like, that's like my heart would start pump, yeah. pumping. That's exciting. That's a cool ad, actually. Yeah, and then you walk out and it's some guy wearing a leather mask. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that's cool. Well, Blake, Blake always finds great stuff yeah. on the internet on Craigslist, and uh, there's uh, a couple examples right there of the gold that Blake finds. And all I was ever looking for was a J.O. bro. Yeah, and look what happened. <laughs> <laughs> if there's a whole society of J.O.'s. Yeah. A there's a lot of J.O.'s. J.O. J.O. Bros. and Puppy Fudge. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Blake. Thanks, man. Well, thank you, K. Chris. Stay tuned, folks, for next week. Yes, and also stay tuned because I will be posting up on Facebook and on Twitter the coordinates for GNR tickets for Thursday at the Tabernacle. Uh, we got Andrew Dice Clay stopping by. He's at the uh, uh, the Punchline tonight with Florentine, our buddy Jim Florentine, right. and Don Jamison. Um, That's a big show, man. Yes. And we're all tired because we're coming off a hot Supercross weekend. Yeah, big Supercross weekend. Which was a good time, yeah. actually. It was I, fun hanging out with all the guys we work with, right? Yeah, it was. Um, you know, and and 
I wish it, the place was so packed that we couldn't even sit down and watch the Supercross thing. Yeah, we were kind of sitting in the back having yeah. a drink. And we had tickets. Yeah. Oh, boy. And did I eat so much food at that oh, thing. Dude, I'm going to tell you right now. Watching uh, you clean, No, no. Watching you clean the chili and cheese off that hot dog oh, was God. awe-inspiring. And that was after <laughs> after my cheeseburger. I mean, if you would have sent a video of you doing that on your Craigslist ad, oh, yeah. you, you, you would have been, been inundated. I, I, I would have been up to my neck in Shween Picks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen somebody do that before. God, I never wrecked my gut so much before. Oh, as man. I, oh, dubs? Yeah, and calling that a chili dog is not really doing it justice. That no. thing was about a foot and a half yeah, long. Yeah, that, that was, was great. Sick. And it was really, really good. The I best mean, part, I, this, is how, this is how you know Chris has a little bit of a fat kid in him. Is <laughs> <laughs> that when, when we, me and dubs, we went downstairs to go get food, and we came back with our, our, our foot long chili dogs, mm-hmm. and Chris had this, like, I don't know, this Regular burger hamburger. or whatever, and this look of disappointment on his face. <laughs> yeah. Because I went to the wrong one. Yeah, I went to this one line. It was eight bucks for a cheeseburger. That was like, I mean, that thing wasn't big at all. No. And uh, and then I sat down at the table, and you guys came over with these gigantic chili dogs. I'm like, whoa! (laughs) And it was only fifty cents more. Yeah. So I had to blow money to go get. I had to get one of those. After you piled up the the hamburger, yeah, I piled the hamburger and got right up. Went got this this chili dog, which was about the size of my forearm. Yeah. And then I had a, a vodka. (laughs) <laughs> oh God, dude! I bet you you're lucky. Your wife was out of town because I bet you you were busting ass. My, big no, time. no, I wasn't. I went, I went home, went oh. to bed, and uh, I went shopping. Actually, got some fruit for the week um, to make on up. the way home. Yeah, because <laughs> I'm like, I felt guilty on the way home. And coming back, I come back the back way, to, uh, back from the Georgia Dome. Yeah, and because uh, I don't live too far. And there was this one area where it's like three splits or something like that. Swan may have seen me do it because we were kind of going the same direction. I started going down a one-way street, <laughs> and I and this you know and it was busy Saturday night. Yeah. And I did a U-turn. I tried to do a U-turn, and the road wasn't big enough, so I was like slowly like doing the old man up the curb thing on a one-way street, and it's all people's headlights in you know like in my windshield. What a jacket. I know. I suck. <laughs> and, and of course I'm mad. I'm like, where's the no exits or no exits? Sign. You're mad at everybody else. It's all everybody else's fault. <laughs> it's because you were you were high off hot dog. <laughs> no, I was depressed. I was like slouched over, like, what am I doing? How am I going to get chicks if all I do is shovel in food? <laughs> you were and, mad. At- <laughs> so first you had food envy, yeah. then you had food guilt, yeah, <laughs> yeah. and then I almost died. You almost went full cycle. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a, it was a crazy night. Then I went right that night. I mean, it was ten o'clock at night. I'm like, I better go shopping for fruit. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. So I got uh, a bunch of, you know, because I eat fruit at work. I see. I, w- I was going to go do some shopping too, at, yeah. but, but I had to, the chili dog and everything was knocking hardcore. Nah, so I had see, to get that's home. why I think we should do that hot dog eating contest because I would I would crush everybody. Oh, you would kill. Yeah. For some reason, like, you almost go, you almost <laughs> black out when there's that much yeah. food. Yeah. When it comes to food, it's, I just take it in. But I don't eat that much, like, during, I eat, when I do eat, it's gigantic. Yeah, when you decide to pile it on, <laughs> yeah, you pile yeah, it on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, but there is that guilt. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thanks you for bringing it back, Tom. You probably went the wrong way because you were sitting in the car going, why? Yeah. Why did I, I give it like, a I'm hot dog? I'm going to end it now. <laughs> no, I think I, I swear I saw another chili dog, so I was following it. <laughs> I, you know what I should have done was take a picture of you eating that and send it to your wife. No. <laughs> she I, you know, want to hear some good news about my wife? I think she's staying for another week or so. Oh, uh, man, are you town. serious? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're going to forget what it's like to be married. I, I did a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen, uh, the Wolf Pack at 835, we're going to be tallying up their Craigslist ads. These guys put up their, uh, their gay ads on Friday and uh, all weekend. They've been hanging out there like bobbers, like gay bobbers. Yeah. And uh, the whole contest is with these Wolfpack dudes is who can get the most Schween pictures sent to them based on their ads. Now, let's start with Zimmerman. Zimmerman, let's hear your uh, gay ad that you have. All right. The, uh, the title is Back from Iraq. It says, I'm recently home from the Middle East and I'm used to getting hammered by some pretty heavy artillery. <laughs> Looking for a few good men interested in invading my territory. <laughs> Send me a pic of what you're packing, and I'll decide if I want to meet up with you. And meet spelled with an A. <laughs> now, if you bring enough to the table, I'll hit you back. P.S. I let the fellas drop their bombs wherever they want. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Wow. <laughs> what a creepy bastard. All right, who, who wants to go next? Jimmy, you want to read yours? 
Yeah, I can go next. All Zimmerman, right. that was top notch. By was. the way, that was great. All yeah. right, ready for mine? Yes. My headline is Gun Needs a Holster. <laughs> 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 and okay, and it reads Hey, fellas, only in town for the weekend. Do you have what it takes to pull the trigger of my love gun? I'm looking to get stuffed. If you think you can hit the bullseye, then show me your gun. Shoot me with. Shoot me some pics and show me what you're working with. If I like what I see, you get a ricochet and take my shrapnel. Cock and loaded and waiting for you. <laughs> I got gay in my blood, baby. <laughs> All right, it's Sam FM for our uh, gay content, gay Craigslist contest. Sam, what do you got for your ad? Well, I, I went ahead and went with a Western theme. <laughs> And it's titled, Ready to Saddle Up? Okay, here's the deal. No games, no BS. I'm in town on business and desperately need to hook up this weekend. I'm a 32 DDF shaved white cowboy looking for a lonesome ranch hand. <laughs> Send me a pic of what you're working with and let's compare tools. If the boot fits, we can party till the cows come home. All right, uh... You can come to my home getaway, which offers plenty of privacy and loads of comfort. Respond quick. Not much time to get down with this bleach string bottom. Yes, I'm very kept. You won't be disappointed. I look like the boy next door. Bears and covered wagons, welcome. <laughs> is, that, is that it? It says, I'm, it says I'm six foot, 185 pounds with seven inches of rope. <laughs> Got something to say, but the show ain't on? Call the Kid Chris Show after hours line at 404-870-5115. Our buddy should be here in a second. Uh, Andrew Dice Clay's in uh, town tonight at the Punchline with our buddies uh, Jim Florentine and Don Jameson, the guys from the Metal Show. Yeah, that's metal cool. Show. And like, the cool thing is, is you're friends with all these guys. Yeah, yeah. So uh, it's kind of like a small reunion. Florentine's flying in late, so he's coming by tomorrow. All right? And then, uh, and this is funny because Thomas just happens to have a, uh, what is it, a court date for something yeah. today? Today yeah. I do. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, I'm going to miss some of the show. I was like, but Andrew no, Dice. No, you know Andrew that's Dice, not what happened. Andrew Dice what? Clay's coming in. Oh, well, I'll stay for that. I'll leave after that. <laughs> yeah, great. Um, now, you know that I I, I I waited the last possible day to do this. Yeah, so. of course. And it happens to be uh, Monday. I know, The of day that we're packed. Well, and we got to get the wolf pack. We got to tally up their uh, Schween picks. That way, you know, that way, Chris, I can step away and you won't miss any of my hilarity, oh, my yeah. on point, you during know, all the that Schween, stuff. During lit. the Schween pick segment? Yeah, you know, yeah. Well, you have uh, the show's packed. You don't You're going to leave me alone during when we're tallying up at 835 the Schween picks from the wolf pack from their gay challenge. Oh, I know how you like to be alone during stuff like that. Well, they, they, they make gay ads to put up on Craigslist uh, over the weekend and we're tallying up who got the most picks. Right. That's at 835. You're going to leave me alone during that. Yeah. And and then I get to do graffiti at 8.55 oh, all by myself. <laughs> Real I'm, nice. I'm sorry. Why, why don't you call in from your court <laughs> oh, date? I'm totally going to call in for graffiti. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm kidding, too. Oh, man. Uh, look, I, I see. Uh, look who made his way into the studio, Thomas. There he is. Yeah, he made his way. All yeah, right. I guess so. <laughs> Song. Where's my mic? It's right there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? Is it on? Yeah. yeah. It's on. Did Chris, this is a first. Yeah. Everybody sing along. <laughs> you know the words, sing right? Through. Yeah. What do you need, a smack? <laughs> I'm glad you got up early to hang out uh, with us, Mr. No, what's Clay. What's wrong with this guy? I, I give him a chance to sing and audition, <laughs> and, no. and all of a sudden, he to the words. Unbelievable. He needs a Hard hitting too. kid from the city so he's, street. He's, yeah. Brooklyn bad boy. I can't be beat. Yeah. There he is. <laughs> You're a jerk off guy. Right. Get out of the room for five minutes. Go out of the room. <laughs> Go out of the room. You did the wrong thing already. Like five minutes? Walk already. out of the room. <laughs> or stand in the corner. It's up to you. Stand in the corner. I'm going to stand in the corner. I'm going to five minutes. No, 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 no. Stand in the corner now. Don't tell me what you're going to do. All of a sudden, you're a tough guy with me. No, no, I walk no, in in one second. There's a confrontation. You said five minutes first, though. No, no. That, that's what I said. Yeah, you said. Yeah, and then you demanded the five minutes. Yeah, we don't work that option. way. You gave me an option. The option is stand in the corner, or I'm going to take that life-size thing of uh, <laughs> a, a stone man temple, whatever it is, and bang your head through your shoes. Wow. 
<laughs> uh, maybe I should give him wow. another chance. That, that's Tommy. That's who you talk to on the phone. Yeah, that's who you calls call you. Your house all the time. Tommy's the one that calls. That's yeah. why he's got to stand in the corner. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think? I don't know who I'm talking to. Uh, do you think I come in unprepared, <laughs> unknowing? Uh, that's not the kind of performer I am, right? No. Uh, right, not at uh, all. Joey. <laughs> Yeah, Joey's the best. Head back. <laughs> back, get it. That's not what I did. <laughs> I didn't even do anything. <laughs> well, well, what no, did I him, say? He did it. No, no, but what did I say? <laughs> you said back, get it. No, no, that's not what I said. What did you say? <laughs> Head back. Head back. Well, he Head totally back. did it. Yeah, listen. I did. Head back. Head back. Yeah. Get it? I got it. <laughs> But back. it's not what he said. No, he said back, get it. No, that no, he was doing our back. <laughs> he, he he's back. he's back in nineteen ninety three or yeah, whatever yeah. that is. So yeah. you're That's doing head back. Say it say it like a command. Head back. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> right? Right? Head back. Head back. Back. Get it. No, there oh. is no get it. <laughs> There is no bet. All right, so we're just doing back. So, <laughs> so, you know you know what I mean? It's like, a, look at me, Joey. Joey, <laughs> stop texting. You. I'll break it over your head already. <laughs> this is I'm what sorry, I talk I'm about sorry. on stage. Texting. Yeah. Corner, it's corner. all people do. They come over to party. I, uh, yeah. This is why I don't go to party. Oh, look at my Blackberry. <laughs> I just got the new Blackberry, and I'm saying, the only thing I want black is normally underneath me, <laughs> and it's got a nice big fat ass. <laughs> And the only thing buried is my face in it. <laughs> that's what I like. See, that's fun to me. Right, right, not, right. Not standing like like Joey's doing with the with the little. Oh, let me send this. How important is that message, Governor? <laughs> How often is Dice on the show Never. that that you got to look down and text something? Unless you're texting, guess who's here? <laughs> guess who's here? The rebirth. Joey, Joey, you like Joey, it. He's like the Joe. one that calls my house dinner time that gets my children made. The girl left me because of you. Yes, he told me to you call. You understand? You, you know Eleanor, right? Kelligan? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, because of the way you would call every night dinner time. I, I, I Everybody's was very polite. Eating. I was very nice you, when I You know what her. it taught me to teach her to make chicken? <laughs> That she's in the kitchen. What do I do with it? I go, well, let's start by washing it. <laughs> and then you put it in the oven and you wait for it to get cooked in. <laughs> <laughs> like I was telling you, these people, all, and everybody today with the Googling. Yeah. You, know, the, you see, what'd you Google today? See, I don't yeah. waste my life with Google. <laughs> you see what I mean? That's what, uh, see, the people that invented the computerized computer, oh, yeah. right? They know what a holes people are. <laughs> you understand? Yeah, yeah. So that's why they come up with names like Google. <laughs> Because, you know, like the people that invented it, they want to be at the party that you're at yeah. and hear somebody get into a heated thing and go, oh, yeah, you think I'm wrong? I'm going to Google it right now. Do you know what you sound like when you even say that? You lose. <laughs> Adult men that have sex with, with women. Google. <laughs> you understand? You know what that does to my pressure? Look at me, kid. I know, you're upset. You know what it does? But they came up with that word to make us look stupid, and I refuse to use it. I'm mm -hmm. never saying that. You know, every uh, when you got to go somewhere, people go, oh, I'll give you directions. Like I tell my friend, he goes, oh, no, I I'll Google it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, drop dead. That's what I say to him. <laughs> How's that sound? Boy, you get upset you know over what little I mean? things like that. No, no, but it's true. Oh, it, it, with everything today. <laughs> it's uh, Andrew Dice Clay. He's here at the Punchline tonight only. Two shows. Uh, we'll spend more time with him here in a, in a few minutes. Hey, you going to be cool to stay around? You know what? Maybe I'll be here. <laughs> Maybe I won't. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? Andrew Dice Clay here in the studio with us. Thomas, uh, or he knows him as uh, Joey, is uh, giving him a rub down right now, actually. A massage. You, you know what it is? Because I get neck knots. Yeah? Yeah. That, what are they it, called? Neck knots. Yeah? Yeah, so basically the idea is to to rip through any tissue <laughs> in my neck, is, yeah. is, you know, to get to the muscle. But you yeah. had a guy rub you. Well, you know what? Uh, I'm not I'm not gay. <laughs> 
but it would be the only reason to become gay for the neck rub. <laughs> the neck knots. The, yeah, the repercussion is then you get a pair of testicles in the head. <laughs> The only so that's why that's where the thinking comes in. Right, right, right. Head back. Wow. Head back. Wow. Head back. Wow. <laughs> back. 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 Hey, there's a girl on the phone that wants to help you with your neck knots. Oh yeah? Yeah. Right, cat, go ahead, cat. Hey, Andy Dice Clay. Hey, uh, uh, no. <laughs> hey, it's hey, I'm a girl. Girl. Uh, I'm a massage therapist, and I can help you out. I do some deep tissue work. You can come to my work. I'll give you a free massage. Oh, so I'm going to come to your You got to come here. You got to come here. I'm going to come there, get all relaxed, lay down, (laughs) and then you go, all right, time's up. (laughs) Back out into the That's what I don't like about massages. You got to go to them and then walk back. Because you go there, you get all relaxed, you know, and then they go, all right, how's that? Yeah. No, good. All right, look, I got another client coming in. Here's your cup of water. For some reason, they all hand you water yeah, yeah, yeah. at the end of it. Why is that, Kat? Once you work out the muscles, there's waste in the muscles that gets released because it's been caught up in there because they're so tight, and you need to flush your system. All right. Like a- you know what? That's why I didn't go to massage wow. school. Just come on a radio show and go, head back, 20,000 tickets sold. <laughs> hey, but you're People, like, wow. picture the crowd. Head back, head back. Head back. Wow. <laughs> that was powerful. That was, see, you're not going to be able to stop saying that. Oh, uh, no. That, I see, yeah, you'll be laying in bed at night looking at the ceiling. You'll yeah. be next to your beautiful wife who I met mm-hmm. of 30 years. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> she's an amazing looking girl. How Thank is you. she? Uh, she's good. Let's get her on the phone. Does she ever do that? You ever call in? Oh, yeah. Hi. What are you doing? Um, <laughs> nothing. What are you and doing? And I'm not going to do the little on air, what are you wearing, take Hi, off your Dice. panties. I'm not going to do that. You're a married woman, so start acting like one. <laughs> Guy calls up, says, what are you doing? And you just say, uh, I'm do- you don't even ask who it is? Oh, I know who it is. Oh, really? <laughs> it's the voice, right? Head back. Yes. <laughs> Ow. Back up. Wow. It's <laughs> all so the way you say things. Yeah. <laughs> You're a very handsome man, by the way. Uh, a lot of people tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but I'll tell you, you, Chris has good hair, though. I admire his hair. <laughs> he's like, he's like hair, taunting yeah. me with it today. You know, <laughs> he's got it all gelled in the front. There's not one empty space. <laughs> you know, and every morning I look in the mirror and I see more and more forehead. But... <laughs> But it, the, the more, I guess it's, you get to see more of this gorgeous head of mine. Mm-hmm. You know what? Yeah, an impression. John Travolta. Just to throw an extra talent. Right? <laughs> okay. Just right, to okay. throw that in. <laughs> Listen to this. You're going to die. I swear you're going to crack up, right? <laughs> like, when, when I did Get Shorty Part 1, uh-huh. I knew that would be a sequel that would be horrible. <laughs> but I said, you know what? They didn't pay me for 14 years. I'll do horrible for 20 mil. <laughs> <laughs> Sammy Davis, watch this. All right. And this is the morning. Let me take a sip of <laughs> All right. Sammy Davis Jr., the late great. Okay. What kind? Wait, let me warm up. <laughs> okay. All right. Count, count. Count, count. Head back. Head back. Back up. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You are so beautiful. <laughs> Who am I? Account, 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 kitchen. Why? <laughs> You're losing your mind. What are you talking about? <laughs> Extra time. You there, Sammy? That was Sammy. There was some major <laughs> jingles, and he, the candy man. Can- <laughs> These are medleys, I'm telling yeah. <laughs> you. The birth of the blues, <laughs> blues, blues. Can we do it one more time? It's almost like Billy Crystal thought he could do Sammy because yeah. he had that stupid head. 
Billy Crystal at the, the Academy Awards. Remember like three years in a row? Yeah, yeah. And then all of a sudden he goes, oh, I'm tired this year. I've been working. Oh, really? The biggest diner in Hollywood. You can't come out for an hour and a half. Yeah. You know, and, oh, Billy's tired. He's overworked. No, you know who's tired? <laughs> you know who's tired? The guy in the street filling potholes <laughs> at 90 below freaking zero mm -hmm. wearing 40 layers of clothing. That's who's tired when he comes home. Billy sits in a trailer waiting for the producer. Billy, can you do your line? <laughs> All right, move the sheep. All right, <laughs> <let me rest. laughs> That's not time for the Academy Awards. <laughs> jerk off. Stupid face. <laughs> and jerk off is a normal word. <laughs> no <laughs> people. You know, it's a great it's word. an acceptable word it's fine. in the world today. Yep. Right. Let's see. Michaela the tranny wants uh, to say hi to Dice. Hey, Andrew. I'll come Head over back. and rub your neck. Andrew? No, I'd rather go with Joey. At least I know what I'm dealing with. <laughs> You know, nothing against you. Yeah. Yeah. Good for you, honey. Yeah. Yeah. That's they a all guy. get mad. The huge back. That guy has a huge back. Head That's back. A big dude. Yeah. Head back. And, and, Head back. 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 Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I don't make fun of that. I never did a bit on those people, did I? I never did any gay material, did I? <laughs> you know, listening to 10,000 comics since me trying to take my one bit and twist and turn every way they can. <laughs> but is it the original? No. <clears throat> You did a whole thing on bump backs on the bus on uh, the day after. Day let you love that album. Love it. Okay. Do you know how I got my bad back? Huh? You flew in. You yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how to talk to you. Yeah. <laughs> with the bumps. Yeah. With the bumps and the bad air. <laughs> you know, and now with the ozone broken down, and, you know, the plain bumps. <laughs> Dice is at the punchline tonight, two shows. Then maybe, <laughs> then I'll know what kind of food. Yeah. It's a Kid Chris show. Hey, our phone number is 404 741 tonight. Uh... At Punchline, our buddy uh, uh, Andrew Dice Clay, Don right. Jamison, and uh, Jim Florentine in town. Those are the dudes from that metal show along with our buddy Dice who's here with us. And uh, Dice on the phone is my grandmother. I wanted to, you know, she used to get on me for listening to you when I was younger, but uh, she's on the phone. Uh, you know who Andrew Dice Clay is, right, my mom? Who? <laughs> Andrew Dice Clay. He's a comic. He, he, yeah, you know. No, nah, no, yeah. I'm afraid not. How do, you, how do you say it like that? What? The a genius, the legend, legend, actor, icon. musician, icon. Now okay. she understands. <laughs> <laughs> Mom is, is, a, now, who is it's my grandmother, Mama. Oh, oh okay. Right. Yeah, yeah. She's a. Uh, Dice K. Clay, Clay. Dice oh. K, that's funny. Oh, I, see. I thought it was Dice K from the Boston Red Sox. No, no, no. Um, She's talking about the, the Chinese guy that tried to steal my name. <laughs> Dice K? You know, yeah. he stole my name. Oh, did he? Yeah. Oh, yeah. for heaven's sake, great pitcher. Well, yeah, but you know those people. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Thomas is Asian hey, over fellow there. fellow lady, you want him to pitch again? What? What was, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, you see a Chinese pitcher, a half hour later, you want him to pitch again. Oh, yeah, oh, like, yeah. like the food. Like the food. Yeah, 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 we got it. Here we go. I, you get it? Yeah. Head back. Tell him I think wow. it's... I, think I gotta it's, be nice. It's your grandmother. I'm not gonna go Get her to do the wow thing. No, it's your grandmother. I'm not doing it. <laughs> yeah. no, please do Good it. Good for you. Good for you. No, you, you have got, a little respect, that's, right? That's right. <laughs> Good. That's right. And he's standing here because he's on the air, yeah. opening his mouth. <laughs> you know, in the meantime, how, how many Sundays you spend there? How many moments you share with her? No, yeah, we, we are nice. You know what mom. I mean? Yeah. Mama, my grandmother. Nice. I know. Stu he's a stupid man. <laughs> You'd be much better off with me as a grandson. <laughs> I'm Why known through that? the world. I'm a world star, honey. Oh, really? Yeah. How come I haven't heard of you? <laughs> because you're into Chinese ball players. <laughs> Japanese. Oh, He's Japanese. Japanese. Whatever he is. Wait a minute. Where do you live? Where, you're She's not in Massachusetts. She's in Ma yeah, because Kid Chris, you know, he goes from city to city. <laughs> You know, yeah. sooner or later, the station says, kid, we love you, but. <laughs> oh. You're right. And we're good friends, though. That's why I'm here today, because he's always been great with me. So I came in special just to do the show. Good for you. Yeah, he's nice like that. You right? know, all of a sudden, oh, you yeah. love me, right? Bake some of them cookies for me next time. <laughs> Are you, are you that kind of grandmother that does that stuff? Like the, oh, you know, yes. I make cookies. Yeah. Old oh, school. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, I love that. Whenever I come over, it's food all day. Cook. All cook, day long. Cook. Yeah. 
Love that. All day long. Love that. And then she'll be the first to make a comment All about my long. weight. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't have that problem. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with you, really. Oh, listen. He's got a great him. wife. Do you like his wife? Oh, I love her. He's She's love sweet, her. right? He's wonderful. Yeah. She's wonderful. Yeah, I know. I was She's thinking wonderful. about her. <laughs> Things she has going for her. She knows how to laugh, uh-huh. and she is very, very friendly. No, she is. She's very sweet. I knew that when I, I met her in the dressing room. Oh. Yeah, she came in with... No, she was with him. Yeah. <laughs> she was looking at me, but she, I'm, I'm really a gorgeous guy. <laughs> you know, you know, girls really like me. Oh, you'll have to send me a picture. I'm like a chick magnet. <laughs> oh, really? Uh, it's, it's, oh, I didn't need to get into comedy to get chicks, believe me. <laughs> Oh, Trust I, me on that one. You think that, that's doing <laughs> it I'm like you? a mechanic. The minute I kiss him, I go, all right, I can fix this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you it's are like looking comedian. under the hood, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, all right, yeah. Let me kiss you for a minute. All right, this is what you need. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> you know I what see. I mean? Yeah. I mean, I mean, I know you're a grandmother and everything, but you've lived a lot of life. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, I know. I, you know uh, what I mean? You I, got you got to know how to kiss a chick. That's the oh, key that's right. thing. That's right. Yeah, I'm the best. I'm telling you something. No kidding. No, it's what I do. Besides <laughs> comedy, you are intriguing me. No, <laughs> I know I am. <laughs> and what do you think? Uh, I don't feel this. <laughs> you know what I mean? How old are you? Uh, don't worry about me. Worry about you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, well, there's nothing going on there. I'll you know what I mean? We'll have a couple drinks. We'll throw a few back. Everything loosens up. Uh, age will not be a barrier between me and you. <laughs> oh, oh, really? Because I don't drink. No, I don't need that. That's, I'm not talking about alcohol, baby. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah, water. You're real. <laughs> Get a couple rock glasses, throw in some ice, some Evian, who knows? Get nuts. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I tell uh, you, that's what you'll be saying. <laughs> <laughs> and it won't be about your goodness. It'll be about your badness. <laughs> Everybody's got that other side, even grandmothers. Yeah, but not at this age. Uh, what are you kidding me? I, Let me tell you, the oldest chick I ever made out with, 86 years old. Oh, really? I was 21 and a half years old. Oh, my God. You must have been hard up. No, 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 no. I needed a ride. <laughs> Uh, see what I mean? One, huh? See how funny I am? Yeah. See yeah. where I go, how I do that. Oh, yeah, you're quick. Yeah, hey, Sammy Davis. Oh. Why can't I find my eye? <laughs> How do you sing, Stu? Yeah, do Travolta for my grandmother. Talk to her. Do you, you like John Travolta? <laughs> yeah, I love it. <laughs> Listen to this. You're going to die. I swear you're going to crack up, right? <laughs> so Mr. Carter says to me, Vinny, where's your homework? <laughs> what? <laughs> he says, from last night. So I said, where? <laughs> And he said, your homework. I said, why? <laughs> oh, my dog ate it. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, very good. Yeah, I could very do anything. Good. That brings back memories. This is like, you're like, you my yeah. grandmother hitting it off. You guys are well, I know how to talk to people. I'm a person. I know, I know. Yeah, Mama, we'll talk to you later, okay? Okay, Chris. All right, thank you. Yes, thank Take you. Care. Love you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I love you, too. <laughs> There was a connection. Was a connection. <laughs> well, listen, uh, Mr. Clay, Andrew Dice Clay, Woo! thanks a lot for coming. It was great. I, I think a big you. round of applause. Yeah. 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 Thank you. A, a friend for uh, a long time and finally in our studio. We'll do this again. Yeah. A lot of obscurity this morning. A lot of uh, me shaking my head going, I wonder who's he talking about? <laughs> what? Yeah, is it any different when I call him? No, out? it's not. <laughs> It's perfect. <laughs> yeah, it's perfect. No. But thank you very much once again, Mr. Clay. Andrew Dice Clay, everybody. Right here on the Kid Chris Show tonight. Two shows at the Punchline with uh, Jim Florentine and Don Jamison. You know, Thomas uh, had to bail to go to court. He has a court date today. I think it's at nine or something like that. So uh, Mr. Williams is uh, sitting in. Hello, Chris Williams. Yeah, now. Yeah, he's going to, uh, like today, uh, Thomas and I are going to be out doing the uh, GNR GPS with you uh, later this afternoon. Yeah, correct? sure. Yeah, That's yeah. cool. Uh, we uh, finally got a winner. Hey, n- uh, real quick, not at five. 5.30. No, when? What time? Not at 5.30, because at 5.30, that's when I'm debuting a new track from Slash and Miles Kennedy. Oh, so we got to stay far away from that. Yeah, I've got new Slash, 5.30, but any other time, GNR GPS. 5.28? Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, the reason why you're here is because uh, um, the Wolf Pack is on the phone. These are the guys that call radio shows. You know, very popular segment on our show. 
They call radio shows. We play the tapes. It's always funny when these guys do it. The main dude, Zimmerman, Jimmy Jitsu, and Sam FM. We threw out the challenge to those guys like we did, which is uh, write a gay ad and put the ads up on Craigslist uh, over the weekend and see who gets the most uh, schween sent to them. Men for men, rig troll. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fun game. And over here is, uh, let's see, I got uh, Zimmerman. Let's go to, uh, I believe this is uh, Jimmy Jitsu as well, and Sam FM. Hello, fellas. What up? <laughs> hey, who so, the reigning champs? Dubs, right? What did he? Dubs got. What did he, he get? Five, four, five, 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 uh, five junk sent to him. Now nice. Zimmerman, go ahead and read your ad so uh, we could get people up to date. The, the title is "Back from Iraq," and it says, "I'm recently home from the Middle East and I'm used to getting hammered by some pretty heavy artillery." <laughs> Looking for a few good men interested in invading my territory. <laughs> Send me a pic of what you're packing, and I'll decide if I want to meet up with you. And meet spelled with an A. <laughs> if, you, if you bring enough to the table, I'll hit you back. P.S. I let the fellas drop their bombs wherever they want. Ah, <laughs> uh, Sam FM, go ahead. Ready to saddle up? Okay, <laughs> here's the deal. No games, no BS. I'm in town on business and desperately need to hook up this weekend. I'm a 32 DDF shaved white cowboy looking for a lonesome ranch hand. Send me a pic of what you're, send me a pic of what you're working with and let's compare tools. You won't be disappointed. I look like the boy next door. Bears and covered wagons welcome. <laughs> <laughs> covered wagons? Yeah. They keep it a cowboy. Uh, uh. uh and Jimmy Jitsu, go ahead. Mine says, hey, fellas, only in for the weekend, you have what it takes to pull the trigger of my love gun. I'm looking, I'm looking to get stuffed. So if you think you can put this full ride and show me your gun, shoot me some pics of what you're working with. If I like what I see, you get a ricochet and take my trap. <laughs> it all just puts ants on me. I'm waiting for you. Yeah. Now, and Jimmy, did you forget the part where you'll beat the guy up after you're finished? <laughs> <laughs> <Just now. laughs> All right. So now, um, based on the ads, yeah, based on the ads, who do you think? Like, uh, we had a, bu- a couple uh, Project Family people uh, sign up and pick somebody: Jitsu, Zimmerman, or uh, Sam FM. And whoever gets it right gets uh, tickets for Monday Night Raw club level seats. And uh, so, what do you what do you got, Jimmy? How many did you get? All right, well, I don't know if you guys remember, but I had an issue where mine only ran on Friday. But just based on my Friday posting, I got 14 replies and 18 guys sent their wangs. Oh, oh my God! Eight, 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 eight. Eight, eight, hold on, eight, hold on a eight, second. Eight, eight, what? No, 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 how did he I'm get sorry, 14 eight, replies eight, and 18 wangs? No, eight, I'm eight sorry, rigs. eight. I got excited, okay? I All got right. Schween on the brain. Uh, <laughs> All right, eight, eight wangs? Yeah, eight pictures, yeah, and, and but 14 guys replied, but eight of them attached pictures. Wow! Uh, That's right. All right. So, uh, what do you got, Sam FM? Jeez. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Less than. Disappointed. <laughs> 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 Uh, I got seven replies and only three hogs. Uh, three? Hey, look, dude. That's not bad. Better than me. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. <laughs> all right. What do you got, uh, uh, Zimmerman? How many did you get? I had 35 replies, no. 22 pictures, but only 14 of those were unique rigs. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> unique. Three guys thank me for my military service. <laughs> uh, 14 unique rigs, is that what you said? Yes, sir. Wow. Crushed it. Wow. That is crushing. That is the like reigning, reigning rig champ. We gotta send you a golden penis. <laughs> <laughs> what did you repost like every three hours? Yeah, how did you do that? Come on, did you see the picture I used? Yeah. How did I not? It's a it's a little fruity. Oh like, yeah, I didn't <laughs> see the pic. We're gonna post them up on uh, on uh, kidchris.com um after the segment. Yeah, awesome. it's uh his hair is all like dolled up and right? It's the gelled up picture. Egg with guy lights and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. <laughs> uh, wow, I had uh, just based on the ads, I thought Jitsu had that, that. That's what I thought. I thought Jitsu had it. 
Yeah, I'm a little. I'm, I'm actually a little offended by this. Yeah, but dude, now. you you did awesome though, just for posting the uh, you know the one night because we all reposted because you know that section gets uh, they get a lot of posts, so you disappear real fast. Yeah. So you yeah, had I don't a, know what was going on. I don't know if they were flagging because I was using the same email because where I posted, you know, I posted one city and then I figured let me try a different city and even gayer one and uh, <laughs> they kept flagging it. They the one the one got taken down like in like an hour. Wow. Maybe it's because you're too hot. <laughs> I think that's what it is. I think that's what it is. Wow. Team unique rigs. God. I only got three new ones from Saturday forward, though. Oh, okay. Wow. So you yeah, you did your damage on Friday as well. Yeah. Wow, yeah that by is... Friday, they've all got their dates for the week. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. It's done. This is a great, what a great game. Wow, that was fun. Well, listen, uh, and congratulations to Malcolm. Malcolm picked Zimmerman, so he's going to... Uh, He's uh, going over to... Uh, Advocare 500? No, no. He's going to Monday Night Raw. Oh, Monday Night Raw. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Club level, level awesome. seats. Congratulations, Malcolm. That's awesome, dude. I'm so happy. Yeah, yeah. You, you picked the right gay guy. I knew, I knew that if, of all the guys, that Zimmerman would get the most wang. <laughs> <laughs> all right, dude. Hold on a second. That's, uh, man. That's So, and then our game starts this week, this weekend, on Friday. Chris Williams, Dubs, uh, Alfie, Thomas, and myself going to the gay bar. Who will get the the first phone number? Or no, first drink. First drink. Yeah, yeah. the first I mean, drink. I don't need digits. Yeah, the first drink bought I just for feel him. guilty, though. Think about the number of times that we sit around and gripe about going out and <laughs> let in chicks that let you buy them drinks yeah, knowing yeah. that they're, that's going nowhere. Yeah. We're about We're to doing put another the guy thing. through that. Well, I mean, we don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas had to go and uh, go to court after uh, the Dice Man. Um, Thomas, I, I don't know what it was that he's going for, but uh, apparently they only uh, opened court uh, from 6 to 9 a.m., uh, <laughs> so Thomas couldn't go after the radio show. What What did he do that you can't just pay the ticket and be done with it? I think it's a registration thing. I, I don't know what it was exactly. You know, this is the guy who uh, got a bunch of parking tickets up north, and... Just was like, ah, I deserve, I should be able to park wherever I want. And then all of a sudden, boom, he gets a boot on his car and $1,200 and all later on, he's all yelling, at, this is crap, all that stuff. That's Wait, what he does. He thought because he was uh, part Japanese, he yeah. got diplomatic immunity. He, he just thinks he has diplomatic immunity. That's why he ends up quitting and all Reparations that stuff. Reparations <laughs> from uh, World War II. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this we, is crap. We can park wherever we want. <laughs> uh, in a few minutes, uh, coming up, we'll do uh, graffiti. We'll end the show with that, where we uh, just pick up the phones unscreened on the air. Uh, live, you have one sentence to say, whatever is on your mind. It's brand new. Uh, I've been kind of lacking on... I'm promoting it because we've been so busy. But uh, that's what we're going to be doing here in a second. 404-741-9696 is the number. Amy's been holding for about 35 minutes. What's up, Amy? Yeah, uh, my, I have this flyer. Uh, it's um, mm. for a Gwinnett County commissioner. Mm. Her name is Laurie McCain. Yeah. All right. She has a huge Adam's apple. And I have to know... <laughs> Is this a guy? Uh, well, uh, uh, why are you asking us? I don't know. I mean, that's a... Because that's, you're that's... the Project family and you know everything. Uh, what's her know. name? <laughs> what's yeah, what's, what's her the name? commissioner's name? Laurie McLean. Yeah, I don't... There, there wasn't, and the only reason that I'm curious about that is because there was an issue a couple of years ago over a commissioner who ran for office as one sex and then went through a sex change. It was a man and then had a sex change. Here? Once, yeah, and once he was elected, he then changed his sex to female, oh, and maybe. there was a big deal about trying to recall him. Maybe that's or, him. Is that maybe that's him, ma'am? Mm. I'm telling you, you Her. take away this lady's hair. This is a guy. <laughs> well, when you when you teeth. Look, her website is McLeanforGwinnett.com. Are you wait a minute? Do you just work for her and you're just trying to pimp it on the radio? But is this? I don't no, know. This is the best way to drum up votes. <laughs> I don't know. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you what. I went to this pizza place and I saw this and I was like, well, you know, even if it is a guy. Why don't you just say you're a guy? I'll still vote for you. Right, it's about the job. Yeah, but it's funny how, it, it, how it, Amy, it, it's funny how you think trannies, you think the Kid Chris show, and you call us out. <laughs> I, was thinking, I was thinking about Nikayla, uh, uh, you know? Yeah, of course. Well, Running for office? Yeah, no, that'll never happen. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks, Amy. Our phone number is 404-741-9696. I'm, I'm looking it up. If I find something, I'll pass yeah, it. Yeah, let me know. Stop I don't trying remember to... the one that was. There was, there was a trainee that was elected. Hey, that's uh, becoming a mainstream thing. Thank, I, thanks guess to... a, I guess it was a cross-dresser, to be specific. I don't know that it was a, a trainee. Would you care? Yeah, I would just be curious why 
don't don't do the bait and switch. Right, right. That's all right. If you're a dude and you want to cross dress, run as a cross dress and dude, so that we know what we're voting for. Right, right. But don't run as a guy, and then what, the second that you're sworn in. Don't you know in politics that you're just stirring it up when you do something like that? Just right, wait. Yeah, and you're running for political yeah, office. Yeah, just wait. All right, here's what we do. Graffiti at the end of the show. We uh, pick up the phones unscreened. You have one sentence to say whatever is on your mind. Go ahead. You're on. Hey. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what, what, uh, do, I, <laughs> do I just stop? Yeah, you got to stop. Oh, my God. Wendy? It's me, Winnie. I tried wolf pack leader. I know who it is. Where have you been? Where have you been? It, it's been good. No. <laughs> Where have you been? Everybody's been worried about you. I miss you guys so much. I know. What, what happened? I went to the circus. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wow. Do you work for the circus now? With my uncle. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, wow. Do you bounce a ball on your nose? <laughs> well, I saw tigers, orange ones, and white ones. Oh. So, what, so you went to the circus? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. You didn't I, join. You didn't join the circus. Yep, at the Gwinnett oh. Arena. Oh, the Gwinnett Arena. Cool. Yep. Okay, but but it's been like a couple weeks since we heard from you. Did you uh did you get hurt or something? No, it was fine. Oh, uh, okay. Right. Uh, <laughs> now, did you did you pet any animals at the circus? Not exactly, but can I ask you something? Sure. Did you know tigers have big paws? Yeah, I knew that. They swipe at people and they can really hurt you. I know. Tigers yeah. have big claws to scratch on. Yes. And they growl like this. Now, this is so great to hear from you. Uh, this is Wendy. She lives with uh, awesometism, is what we call it. She is the originator, the leader of the wolf pack. Wolf pack leader. Yep. She's the one who created all this. This is so awesome to hear. Wendy, now, uh, I want to call you and have you on the show tomorrow early on. Is that cool? Yeah. God, you are the best. Yes. I miss you so much. Mm-hmm. All right. You have any final words to the uh, to the wolf pack? Yeah, catch something. Yes. At, at store, I got a new CD. <laughs> what is it? Phineas and Ferb, the first and second dimension. <laughs> awesome. Phineas and Ferb. Wow, yeah. you know, I would love if Wendy introduced uh, the beat offs at the Cinco oh, party. Yes. Would you, you know, be Would you, you be know, interested in that? Yeah. You know, you know, you know, it's my favorite song. <laughs> what? Can't get up in the notch by performed by Phineas. And Ferb Bidrin Slash. <laughs> oh, Whoa. yes. Very good. Well, Chris Williams has a new Slash song at 5.30 today. It was performed by Phineas and Ferb and Slash. Yeah. Right. <laughs> That's not the one I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> well, Wendy, we will talk to you later, okay? Yes. Can I ask you something? Yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> Just vote for Team Jacob, okay? Okay, we'll vote for Team Jacob. <laughs> Bye, Wendy. <laughs>